I think the main objective of us doing Fiend, we wanted to do our own thing and we kind of wanted to do it within our time span. When you ride for other companies, you deal with a lot less. I feel like your input's not as important. This trip's been weird. I've been having a lot of bad luck so far. Just feeling kind of beat up. I just got back from a Nike trip that was like two weeks long. My wrist has been hurt, my thumb's been hurt. I'm just kind of wearing on me. Every single day you go out, you never know what you're gonna get. It's kind of one of the reasons I love it. And it's just always kind of like an adventure. Whether it be good or bad, it's always set. And spending time with your friends is always awesome. I was just filming a clip and she hooked me up. Get my hair, dude. You gotta mingle when you're in these situations, I feel like. Tyler, son. To me, Fiend is just like a family. Garrett's technically my boss. I work with JJ and I work with Ty, and it doesn't feel like work because we're all homies, so it's kind of like a degenerate family, but it's pretty sick. I like it. Anytime when you get really close to having like a part done or a video done, you know, adding the icing on the cake, it's always frustrating, but it's always really rewarding if it actually happens. So having a crew that's like really supportive of each other is probably the most important thing. If you don't have your friends backing you and trying to help you get through it, it's harder. But I think part of the reason he's able to switch roles so fast mainly has to do with just unselfishness and he wants to see everybody have a good time because at the end of the day, if all your friends are having a good time, you're gonna have a good time. So, and that just kind of comes with the territory. That's why we ride. That's why because we ride. We all want really good stuff and it just doesn't usually happen too quick. It's always worth it in the end. You know, you watch the footage and you're psyched on it. And watching my friend do something psychs me up to try something. Starting to edit this part. Trying to figure out what to use and what not to use. Here my dude, Tony Ennis. So much time invested into making something that you're psyched on that you can't really have someone that doesn't know what they're doing deal with all that. We're usually on the same page, and if not, we're really, really close, so it's really easy, and it's like super organic. His role is overseeing all those dudes and having fun with them. He's ruthless when it comes to finding spots for everybody to ride, to driving around all day nonstop, legitimately putting all his friends and all of us before him half the time, which is just, it's awesome. The dude just holds it down, really, for all of us. No reason to get mad.